and welcome to On The Move, a show highlighting what's going on in your community. I'm your host, Eliza Papazian. In this month's show, we'll learn how to safely fry a turkey, check out the upcoming tree lighting ceremony, take a look back at some recent events, and so much more. There are so many wonderful kids' activities in Glendale, so where do you start? We're here to help. Whether you're into roller skating, building robots, or being creative, Glendale is home to some amazing companies and public spaces that encourage kids to get out and get active. Sparks fly when you combine the imagination of kids and robots. Rolling Robots opens the world of technology through the universal language of fun. Rolling Robots has created an exciting learning environment for your little tech geniuses who love to design, build, create, and compete with their awesome robots. Kids ages 4 to 14 can participate in many STEM and robotic workshops or camps all year long. It's also the original home to the Robot Battle and Robot Build birthday party. Kids can battle robo-warriors in the center ring and build their very own motorized robots to take home. If you're looking for a restaurant that brings together high-end organic food with active, cutting-edge play and entertainment for children, then Giggles and Hugs is the place for you. Each Giggles and Hugs location has a unique, family-friendly atmosphere. The Glenda location in the Galleria transports kids to a land far, far away, hosting everything from royal balls to superhero missions. Daily entertainment such as bubble parties will captivate kids for hours, while the parents have a chance to take a breath and eat some amazing food. Lace up your skates and get ready to boogie around the rink at Moonlight Rollerway. Moonlight Rollerway opens its doors every day to kids of all ages, inviting them to skate and dance to the greatest hits. There's an old school snack bar to satisfy hot dog and soda cravings, four-wheeled skates can be rented on site, and kids just learning the trade can take lessons in the rink. If you don't think you can spend a full day with kids at this rink, think again. If they're not skating, they're definitely enjoying the arcade. Red vest, blue vest. After this, there's no turning back. Jungle Zone Laser Tag sits at the heart of Glendale and includes an 1,800 square foot dimly lit arena. Guests put on a state-of-the-art Nexus FEC vest and step into the darkened jungle labyrinth. The zone offers the ultimate entertainment experience with an arcade and virtual reality. You can plan to have your next party here or stop by for a spontaneous battle with friends. The City of Glendale's parks and libraries are perfect places for your kids to get out and get active. Glendale has 36 parks and 8 libraries that can fill your kids' afternoon with adventure on the field and through the books. Glendale Parks and Recreation's Leisure Guide provides the community with a number of activities they can enjoy through the seasons. Check out the Leisure Guide online to see what activities Parks and Recreations has to offer. Glendale's libraries also have exciting activities and workshops to help your kids gain skills in reading, programming, and more. Our libraries host story times for all ages and have opportunities for kids to explore their creative side. For more fun activities at Glendale Public Libraries, visit glendalecagovernor slash library. No matter the season, Glendale has tons of activities for kids to enjoy and parents to take a short breather. The holidays are fast approaching and there's no better way to embrace them than by attending Glendale's tree lighting ceremony. Let's check it out. Every year, community members gather in Perkins Plaza at City Hall for the annual holiday tree lighting ceremony. This year's free event will feature the lighting of the City Hall tree, complimentary hot cocoa, a family movie screening with food trucks to buy your dinner, and a special visit from Santa Claus. But it doesn't end there. This year's holiday event will also coincide with the annual Crama Classic Toy Drive. We invite you to bring a new unwrapped toy to the event and help us cram a classic car full of toys for children in our community. This fun-filled event is scheduled to take place on Thursday, November 29th at 6 p.m. 
don't miss out on the holiday cheer. The Glendale Police Department has been busy. If you missed their open house event or haven't had a chance to check out the museum, we've got you covered. Looking for holiday desserts? Let's take a look at where you can find some sweet treats. We're here today in Kenneth Village at Village Bakery and we're talking with chef and owner Nori. Nori, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Village Bakery and the history here? Yes, uh, uh, Village French Bakery, uh, uh, I took over uh, January of 2000 uh, and I, before I take over this bakery I went to the city of Glendale and I found out the history of the bakery that is uh, nearly 65 years old. It was Austrian bakery. In 1978 this bakery became an Armenian bakery. Then when I took over January 2000 converted to French concept that I'm specialized in French baking and since then uh, we grew with my customers and my, my employees. It's a big bakery with a lot of varieties, bread, croissant, cookies, small cake, tarts, and all the things that we have. It's awesome. We're approaching Thanksgiving, so everyone's getting their pumpkin spice and everything pumpkin ready. Do you have any pumpkin items here? Pumpkin that we make is one of the best, and people keep coming back and asking for it. So this year we add pumpkin cheesecake, including a pumpkin pie, a different size. Those sound delicious. What are some of the 
the famous things that your customers keep coming back for? Honestly, uh, I had a customer telling me that you have everything for everybody. So I cannot say particular one item, but we have for everyone, we have something. Wonderful. Well, if you're interested in some delicious friends treats, come by to Village Bakery in Kenneth Village. Thanks so much, Norik. Do you know what a Nazuk is? Let's go check out what Arts Bakery has in store. So we're here at Arts Bakery in Adams Hill, and we're here with Maggie and Mary, who are going to tell us a little bit more about Arts Bakery and all the delicious treats they have here. Can you tell us a little bit about Adams Hill and, and the history of Arts Bakery? So Arts Bakery established in 1997 in Glendale, so it's a family business from the beginning. We are specialized in European, Asian, uh, Mediterranean and uh, Armenian, uh, like pastries, cookies, uh, cakes, and uh, we are popular uh, by our nazooks. So we have four types of them. They are regular ones, they are Nutella, puff ones, and a small of puff. That sounds delicious. So I see some beautiful cakes as well. Can you tell us about the different flavors of the cakes? So we are specialized in event cakes and we have also daily designs, daily cakes. In our store we have also daily flavors and custom flavors. And when we make anything, anytime, just come by our store and, and tell us what you want. Can you tell us a little bit more about the pon cheek? Pon cheeks is a fried dough and inside is cream, custard or Nutella. We have also with raspberry jam and apricot jam. So we have a two sides, large size and mini ones. So we sell mini like by dozen. We have also pirashkis filled with meat, potato, and nacho cheese. Also, we have large size and mini ones. So ladies, thank you so much for taking time out of a very busy day here at Arts Bakery to talk to us, and, and we hope everyone comes by and picks up some delicious Thanksgiving treats. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. Let's head up to Montrose and see what Berlina has. We're here today with Yuna from Berlina Bakery in Montrose. Tell us a little bit about Berlina and your history with it. My husband and I, we took over Berlina Bakery 25 years ago. It was a struggling bakery at that time. My husband is from Sweden, I'm from Belgium. He's the baker, but I learned to trade from him. We're here 25 years later and still enjoying it. Wonderful, so what are some of Berlina's famous treats? What are, what are the things the customers keep coming in for? Uh, we are known for our traditional Swedish princess cake. Uh, there's not that many bakeries here in the Los Angeles area that makes them as good as we do. And uh, we also make all, all our breads from scratch, so we have a lot of artisan breads made with olives, walnuts, cranberries, and we still bake the old traditional way. Uh, and then also we have a large lunch menu, and since a few years back we started to bring in uh, the traditional Belgian Brussels waffles. Uh, and there's no place on earth you can find them than here or in Belgium. Wonderful. So we're, we're talking about, um, you know, what people can, can take home for Thanksgiving dinner. Is there any special treats that you have for the holidays? Uh, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. All the customers are really happy and not stressed about the holidays yet. Uh, they come for pies and bread. Uh, we make like a fresh apple pies. We make a harvest pie with walnuts and raisins in it. The pumpkin cheesecake and uh, we make then the pumpkin uh, princess cake, what is really good. That sounds delicious. Is there any additional flavors that go into the pumpkin princess cake or is it, or is it just shaped like a pumpkin? It's shaped like a pumpkin. That's adorable. Any other treats that you recommend people pick up for the holidays? You know, if you want to have a pumpkin fix, it's right here at Berlina's. We got so much pumpkin going on here that you will find something to uh, celebrate Thanksgiving with. Wonderful. Thanks so much. Have you heard of Porto's Potato Balls? Let's see what else they have to offer. We're here today in downtown Glendale at Porto's on Brand Boulevard and we're talking with Betty. Betty, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, well, we're gearing up for Thanksgiving. Can you tell us what's in front of us? Well, you know, every we for every holiday that comes up, we always have items that are gonna be reflecting the holidays. So, you know, we're gonna have your cookies, the autumn look. These are uh, pumpkin cupcakes with covered with cream cheese icing. We have pumpkin muffins that, that are to die for. And then this pumpkin cheesecake that people are already lining up to, to get because we only have it from this time of year to, to the end of the year. So after January 1st comes, 
We'll take it away, so it's seasonal. At the end of the day, they're coming to get the iconic things. You mentioned iconic things, and Porto's is a year-round amazing bakery. What are some other things that people line up out the door to get at Porto's? So the iconic things would be my mother's five or six recipes, uh, the potato ball, anything with guava, guava cheese, guava by itself, uh, the meat pies, the chicken empanadas, the croquettes, the, the cheese rolls. Those are our number one sellers. But what happens is people come in to get those, and then they see, oh my god, they have uh, pumpkin cheesecake or pumpkin pie, and once they try ours, they won't go anywhere else. So that's the hook to get them in. But once they have a pumpkin muffin here, and they see the quality, they love the ingredients that we put into it, they're not gonna go anywhere else. Well, it sounds like you're gonna have a whole Thanksgiving feast right here at Porto's. Thank you so much for taking the time and talking to us, Betty. And um, come on in, you guys are on Brand Boulevard. Yes, please, to all our customers, you know, we invite you and we also wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Safety is the most important consideration when frying a turkey. Let's hear from Firefighter Pedroza and learn some tips to keep you and your family safe this holiday season. Hi, my name is Firefighter Gil Pedroza with the Glendale Fire Department. I'm here to talk to you about turkey fire safety today so that I don't have to be a part of your holiday celebration. Properly thaw the turkey before frying. Take the wrapper off the turkey and remove and discard the neck and giblets. Do not stuff the turkey. We recommend that you place the thawed turkey in the fryer. Add water until the top of the turkey is covered. Remove the turkey, allowing the water to drain back into the fryer. Measure and mark the water line. Use that line as a guide when adding oil. This will prevent overfilling the pot with oil. Make sure your oil is at an appropriate temperature, about 395 degrees. You don't want it too hot because the oil can ignite. Fry outside and away from the house. Make sure that your site is safe. Wooden decks are not a safe place to fry a turkey. Have the proper tools in place. Keep a multi-purpose fire extinguisher close by. Turn off the flame when lowering the turkey into the oil and do not place a lid on the top of the fryer. Set the timer and cook the turkey for about three to four minutes per pound. Before you make the decision to fry your flightless bird this year, the Glenda Fire Department urges you to carefully consider these tips. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. The city of Glendale recently held a naming ceremony for Artsakh Avenue. Let's take a look back at the unveiling. Today we're gathered on a truly historic and momentous occasion, the official unveiling of Artsakh Street. As many of you realize, this is more than just a naming or renaming of a street. By taking this step for the first time in its history, Glendale is truly recognizing and commemorating the decades-long contribution of the large Armenian-American community to this city. And I'm glad that we have the opportunity for the first time to have a street named after something to do with the Armenians. I would like to say that the story of Artsakh is very much the story of America. It is the freedom, it is persistence, it is equality, it is dignity, it is respect, and it is friendship and hospitality, of course. Many of you have heard me talk about the spirit of the soldiers two years ago when a major handed me a handful of dirt and he said, this is our land, we're gonna stand on our land, we're gonna fight on our land, and we're gonna die on our land. And it struck both of us. I remember Zari was in tears because he translated for me. And that's the spirit of Artsakh, and that's why it's so important for Glendale to recognize that spirit. This recognition of Artsakh pays respect to the Armenian history, to the Armenian people, and to our Armenian community. We are proud of the diversity in Glendale. So let us celebrate this historic event which honors that pride. Thank you. I want to thank everyone who was involved in, in putting this thing together. Change is not easy. It doesn't come easy. But we have to, we have to make the right change. 
This is something to be proud of today for all of us and for many generations to come, for our children, Artsakh. And it's not just the name of a street, it's not just a country, uh, but as a special envoy said, Artsakh is a spirit. It's a spirit that the United States was founded on, that of independence, that of unity, that of inclusiveness. And I hope all the residents of Glendale, both Armenian and non-Armenian, look at this street with pride and enjoy what's going to happen here. It's going to be a great promenade, a great location for everyone. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support on this important event. We look forward to seeing you and your families very frequently on Artsakh Street. That's it for this month's episode of On The Move. For up to the minute news, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Mike Glendale. You can also stay informed by signing up for our free monthly electronic newsletter, City Connection. Sign up on the city's website. Thanks for watching and join us next time as we explore the interesting things happening in the city of Glendale.